If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Coach John LaMarcho brought to you by Lori Darlings in Fayetteville, Alabama. And Coach, since this Thursday night game, I know you'll be at Lori Darlings or close by tonight for <laughs> some delicious food. Good morning to you. Absolutely. We appreciate all they do uh, for us, and the community appreciates them, too. They got some good food. They do. Uh, Short night last night for you after a long night right. with Thorsby, the Wolves beating 50 to 6. Right, you're talking about uh, sleep being hard to come by. It's hard to come by. Get in late after a, a taking a whipping like that, but uh, you know, I take all the responsibility for that. Uh, didn't have the kids uh, ready for uh, what was offered by Thorsby. Thorsby is a very good football team, very fast, very physical. Uh, no excuses. We just didn't get the job done. Uh, Thorsby, uh, a good football team. You're playing on Thursday night. Some some people have asked, uh, why a Thursday night game so late in the season? Well, we have that race weekend uh, and so forth like that. And and actually, at the beginning of the year, when we're making the schedules out, I uh, proposed it to Thorsby, and they accepted to play on Thursday night. And uh, it's very difficult sometimes on that, that Friday game. Uh, you know, you have all the traffic. You have the buses and everything mm -hmm. like that. And, mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we asked if they would do that, and they did. Very accommodating for us. We appreciate that. Thorsby over Fayetteville last night at Thorsby by a score of 50 to 6. Uh, you talked about your kids not being ready to play. Uh, is that mentally, physically, or across the board? Well, you know, we had a couple of kids out with injury last night. Uh, we only dressed uh, 18 uh, players last night. Uh, Thorsby dressing about 40. There is a big difference right there. Uh, but uh, we knew what Thorsby was going to do. We just weren't able to stop it. Uh, really, truly, sometimes some teams may just be better yeah. than you. And uh, that, that team's better than us. Mm -hmm. But we should have played a lot better in the ball game itself. We made some errors, made some mistakes, did some good things, believe it or not. I know it doesn't sound like it when you look at the score, but we did do some, some good things. Uh, uh, special teams wise, um, uh, offensively, not very much production, but a couple of times we did some good things. We just have to keep working at it, and we're going to be okay. Yeah, it, it's been a difficult season. It uh, has. One win over Central Lacusa County, and uh, uh, how do you keep uh, teaching and, and encouraging these young kids? Because they are young. Sure. They're, they're, they're easily swayed, and, yes. and uh, you know, Coaching comes in now with a lot of motivation. Hey, let's stay the course. No, that's right. Well, I was telling a couple of them last night, you know, stay the course. Exactly the words that I used. But we uh, uh, we have horseshoe men uh, uh, coming around uh, Friday. And our kids are excited about that. Matter of fact, I think our kids uh, were looking forward uh, ahead to the horseshoe men game. We have horseshoe men and Vincent left. And we're going to win those ball games and we're going to go to the playoffs. Uh, we're going to shock the world. So. It's kind of odd, you know, that you, you've you taken your lumps this year, but it's really all still laid out in front of you. It's right there in front of us. And we're going to keep working hard towards that goal. But, you know, football is a life teacher, and it really is, uh, Jimmy. It's a life teacher. And uh, I told our kids last night, if you can get through this, you can get through anything. And uh, we're going to learn about getting beat. We're going to learn how to win respectfully. And our kids did that last night, of course. And uh, they're great kids, a great bunch of boys. And, and they uh, lost respectfully last night and, and, and gave honor to the other team because they were the better team. Uh, but they got to do that in life. Mm -hmm. They're going to be knocks in life. And, and um, families go through struggles. Uh, there is sickness and disease out there. And our kids have to understand what it is to, to, to lose, but they also have to understand what it is to win. It's part of life. As a, a longtime coach and head football coach of not just football, but specifically football this morning, does losing a game like that, does it gnaw at you? Do you say, you know, what 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 can we do to get this team better? I don't know of a lot of things that gnaws at me worse than losing a football game. Mm -hmm. We've we've had great success at at, at, at Fayetteville. We've we've uh, been a region winner. Uh, we've had winning seasons, and um, uh, we've had seasons that were five and five, but we played really well, very close, won a lot of other ball games. There's several this year we haven't even been close in. But uh, it really does know a job. I got a couple hours of sleep last night. Uh, but I uh, appreciate what you guys uh, do here as well, getting up early every morning and getting here. But we, uh, 
we're just going to keep working it, stay in the course, and, and fighting the good fight, and good things are going to happen for us. You mentioned a couple of guys uh, were missing last night. Talk about that a little bit. Well, we had uh, a couple of guys that took uh, concussions in the in the previous ball game, and uh, Zach Roberts, a senior uh, leader, uh, he's someone that we you know depend on uh, uh, offensively and defensively. Mm-hmm. And uh, also Lucas Bird, uh, one of our defensive and offensive linemen, and he's uh, been a great uh, help to us this year. And he was a noticeable uh, missing link last night on that offensive line. So um, those guys, uh, we believe they're going through their protocol now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would rather lose a game 50-6 to six any day than to play two kids that you know, shouldn't sure. play. Yeah. So uh, we would have kept them out uh, last night. But even if the doctors said they could go, that's the truth. Uh, we, we weren't going to play them last night. And uh, But we believe they'll be back for this game this Friday. Uh, ne- next Friday, we believe they'll be back. So we'll we're looking back. forward to having them back. We'll be back with a, uh, after a quick break from uh, our sponsors and talk with Coach John Limbaugh. A little bit more about tonight's game and look ahead uh, next week. We'll be back. After this. Hot under the collar because your basement is full of water? Call a local company you can trust. Hawks Foundation Solutions. We use the most advanced water management system to stop water from invading your basement for good. Things feeling a little uneven at home? Ox Foundation Solutions will fix your uneven concrete sidewalk, driveway, or basement in no time. Ox Foundation Solutions has the best plan to keep your home safe. If you are experiencing any issues with your sidewalks, basement, crawl space, or foundation, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. We believe everybody should have a great night's sleep. That's why you have to check out our Scott Levy mattress collection today. Quality, comfort, and a lot of ease. Dream big. Introducing Scott Living Mattresses. For a limited time, save up to $1,000 on any Scott Living mattress set, plus 24 months special financing. When you buy a Scott Living mattress set, now is the best time to save up to $1,000 on a Scott Living mattress set. Come in today to check out these and many more great deals. King's Mattress Outlet, Silicaga. A couple other scores from last night. Lincoln over Hanley, 30-14. to 14, And Mortimer Jordan routed uh, Munford, 45-6. to 6. We're talking with uh, Coach John Limbaugh, the head football coach of the Fayetteville Wolves, who were beaten by Thorsby last night, 50-6. to 6. And uh, the beat goes on. School today. Absolutely. School today. Kids are going to be coming at us, and we've got to get them there and teach them. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, uh, last week uh, we talked about uh, spotlighted uh, one of your assistants. We do that again this morning. Another assistant coach that uh, you're awfully proud to link arms with and move forward with this team. Well, Coach Matthew Moore is doing a great job for us. Uh, he works with both our uh, junior high and our, our varsity. And uh, Coach Moore works with our, our offensive line and defensive line. And he really is doing a great job. He's helping us out tremendously. He's a uh, uh, go-getter, young coach, uh, uh, you know, young family at home. And uh, he does a great job for us. I really appreciate it very much. Uh, team off today? Uh, they're off today. We're going to give them off. It's, it's, it's kind of cruel to uh, get B-50 to 6 and then have them practice the very next day. So we're going to give them uh, the weekend off, and we'll hit the ground running Monday. We're going to have the best we can practice all year. I'm going to manufacture that. We had the best we can practice all, all year, and uh, we're going to get ready for Horseshoe Bend. And finally, how do you – Put this game behind you. Just keep moving. You have to. You have to put uh, bad things behind you. And I don't know anything else. You know, you, you, you lay that motorcycle down or lay that uh, bicycle in, in the ditch, and you got to get back on. Got to skin your knee up a little bit. That's right. And uh, it hurts. It really does. Uh, you never want to have uh, 50 put on you ever. Uh, but you know, we've been on the other end of that. We've had to uh, slow the offense down before to keep from beating someone so tremendously and. And uh, you, I thought last night, I thought uh, Thorsby th- showed a lot of sportsmanship. Mm-hmm. I thought they kept uh, the score down on their end. I really do. And uh, we were working hard. We were trying, but it just wasn't happening for us. So right. you just have to keep going. Have to put it behind you. Keep going. A little breakfast back to school. Appreciate it, Coach. Absolutely. Uh, coach John Limbaugh, head football coach of the Fayetteville Wolves, our guest this morning, brought to you by Laurie Darling Twitch. Fish night tonight and tomorrow night. All you can eat fish, two sides for a little over 12 bucks. That's at Laurie Darling's. More daybreak after this.